Hey guys, it's Rain and it's time for another Game of Thrones reaction. Actually, the last Game of Thrones reaction ever, which is nuts to think about. We're finally here. It's the end of the show. And yes, I was thoroughly disappointed with last episode, but I'm still, I'm still keen to see how it finishes. I'm very open to whatever they do. Mostly, I'm just feeling curious about how it's all going to end. This is it. Not really much for predictions, but I will say the one thing I do not want to happen is for Aya to go and marry Gendry and live out her life as a lady. I think that would just be the saddest ending. But apart from that, you know, at this point, I don't think I can ask for too much. But thank you all so much for watching over the years. It has been quite the journey and these reactions are definitely bring up the most amount of back and forth communication so I'm gonna miss that part of it. Don't know what else to say. This feels like a really big occasion but a little fanfare. Uh, here we go. Cheers. Last opening sequence ever. Okay two people just told me good luck for this episode so <laughs> that's fine. That's so fine. Ugh. Wanna see that little crack through the map? A little crack in the world, perhaps? Will they still be alive? Ooh, I like that shot. All the Lannisters together. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, miss? <sighs> Someone's got a new name on her list. How the fuck did she get up there? I mean, she also just gave a pretty big telltale sign that she was a killer. <laughs> Papa. How do you know I thought we could? Because I know what is good. <laughs> you are my queen. No. And always. He's gonna stab her. That happened a lot sooner than I thought it would. Wow. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. There is no more throne. Oh my God, that's why they couldn't have Jamie and Cersei die that way. Cause they already planned for John to stab Danny. They couldn't have Jamie stab Cersei as well. Oh, little Drogon. He's like moving to a little cabin by the lake. He's gonna become a little hermit. That's the end of Danny. Uh. Oh my god, the other guy! Sorry, yes, I don't know then. Look. Shh. Where's John? If you look outside the walls of your city, you'll find thousands of Northmen who will explain to you why harming John Snow is not in your interest. Say another word about killing my brother and I'll cut your throat. Throat, please. <laughs> Yara's a little turned on, to be honest. Uncle. Who's it? <laughs> I have had nothing to do but think these past few weeks. Will you lead the Seven Kingdoms to the best of your abilities? 
from this day until your last day. Why do you think I came all this way? The Brandon of House Stop. He's the fucking coolest. <laughs> Related to him. It's a bit biased. Where the fuck is Ghost? Oh, he's so little. You think anyone will dare tell you when we're not allowed? <laughs> huh? Where are you going? What's west of Westeros? I don't know. No one knows. It's where all the maps start. That's where I'm going. Aww. Stop it with your stupid crying eyes. Oh. They are still little children as well, though. <laughs> They're still so small. now because that would be so badass Brienne you, you should be in that book oh I loved it this is a lot I don't believe you mentioned <laughs> <laughs> oh Brienne's armor fucking hell So he's just gonna chill with his friends now. A ghost? lead the wildlings <laughs> I like that little hint that winter's is over spring is coming doesn't sound as scary oh my god I love that the redhead has a red hair horse I was gonna say they kind of overplayed the theme at the end there that's it that's so that's the show that's the show uh, let's see. How do I how do I unpack like a whole season, a whole show? I'm really happy with how it ended. It started with the Starks. It ends with the Starks, and they're all separated. But you know, they they've all become different people, and they all have different roles to play. So I think that's very appropriate for all of them. And I think I can. Ooh. I don't know, so I'm still, I'm, I still will probably always stand by my previous episode's comments that 
it wasn't well done. Danny's demise to be the villain wasn't well done because it was so rushed. It was so rushed, they didn't have the time, I think, to give that storyline the justice it deserved. So even in this episode, they had to kill Danny so early in the episode that it's, it's like, we have no time to breathe between all of these really huge moments, stuff that should really take a whole season to sort of unravel and then see the consequences and then deal with that and then make a plan and then, you know, like, it was kind of like just up, 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 sort of towards the end and I just felt like it was just all too much. I think they should have definitely used some of the space in episode 4 to better tell the story. Like at least another episode would have helped. I like where John ended up. I like where Santa ended up. I loved where I ended up. And I also quite liked the resolution of all the leaders coming together. You know, it's a bit kooky, it's a bit weird and out there, but Tyrion, his um, speech about storytelling definitely resonated with me. It's something I definitely believe in. Storytelling is so important. It is how we know who we are. And I think that was a nice tie-in to Bran and being the three-eyed raven and knowing all of men's history. So he is the best one because he knows all the mistakes of the past and he can improve on that. And he's not, he's no longer like just a man. He doesn't have all of these human desires that we have for power. He doesn't have that same concept, which makes him the best leader possible. And I know people will think that that's kind of the same reason that makes John a good leader, which is there is some truth to that. But if John was a good leader, he would have seen Danny coming. <laughs> I mean, he did see Danny coming. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because being complicit in terrible acts, and sure, there was no way he could have known about the whole the bells thing. But there was, because he was her closest ally. You know, so there are aspects of that that I understand. And I love that he gets to at least live out his life, the rest of his life, as a wildling. Which probably means he will never see his brothers and sisters again. But that's okay. He has ghosts. <laughs> he has ghosts, which I love because we all complained about it so much. And the writers just had to be like, fuck you guys, it's coming in the finale, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So aside from, yeah, aside from the Danny stuff, which is a big, which is a big aside. It is a big aside. I feel like there was definitely so much more potential there in order to really carry more weight because it was so rushed and a bit sloppy. It, it loses that impact. So I do feel, yes, that was definitely something they could have improved upon and then in turn that would have when John kills Danny it would have definitely felt a lot more heartbreaking and poetic as well but it was kind of just at that point because it was so like you know John killing Danny isn't it didn't feel like it just felt inevitable at that point I really <laughs> wish there was a moment where she wrote herself into that night book would have loved that but also, her entering Jamie's history, that was great. I will also not ever agree <laughs> with how Jamie and Cersei died. I could talk about that probably until the cows come home, but I won't. Short end of the story is, I wish, I know everyone was saying Jamie would s stab Cersei, but I do think that would have been a really beautiful way to do it because it would have shown how people grow, because people do grow people do change. Some don't, but Jamie definitely did. It would have been really heartbreaking and poetic because they would have had their ending. You know, I know they entered the world together, they left the world together. So it would have been a tragic, like you could tell that he loves her, but 
it, um, that's the same. That's I guess that's the thing is that they already had that in mind for John and Danny, so they could they couldn't do it twice. And I'm pretty certain that's the only reason they didn't do it because they had such similar, very similar sort of in the end, you know, which I kind of, I kind of hate. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I'm so glad that Aya's story was she's just gonna fuck off and like explore the rest of the world and not like settle down and be tied down. I love that she's not a lady, it's not her life. That's not her life. She is who she is, and that is, she will always remain one of my favourite characters of all time. So will Brienne, so will Sansa, so will Ghost. And for the last time, for Game of Thrones, thank you everyone for watching, it's been a blast. Not sure if I'm going to be reacting to anything else in the near future, so until then, bye.